Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and this is the next video tutorial of uh, Angular ASP.NET Core CRUD operations and in this video I am going to add the service inside your uh, app folder so create a new folder that name is services and now uh, go for the terminal and uh, add new service in the folder that is name is services so first of all navigate to the path uh, from the app SRC sorry SRC app and the services so here we have SRC app and the folder name is services so uh, the folder is navigated and after that uh, you have some uh, commands to add a new service in the angular so here we have NGGS for service g for global and the service name is student service okay so there's that's fine now after adding the services here we have two files is created that is the services.specs.ts and service.ts that is the typescript file now after uh, add this file you you can see that here we have a api that is created earlier now uh, first of all uh, start that project and uh, you can copy that url that is the base uri for the angular uh, to get the data from the api so here we have a base uri so here we have a code like the base api uri http local host 44337 and inside the constructor you can see that here we have http clients and http client is navigating to the uh, uh, for the HTTP client and uh, get all the students with the observable actually observable is a uh, is a keyword you can say that and you can say asynchronous programming when you fetch the data from the API then observable is a key uh, to get the data from the API so and after that only the subscribed user uh, can see the data so here we have uh, asynchronous method observable so uh, so everything is fine now in the student list .component .ts file you can add uh, student uh, array as well as the student service in the constructor so just add a student service in the constructor so here we have a private student service student service oops student service is not found so just go for the services and check the class name here we have okay the class name is a student service service so just copy that code and uh, copy that name and paste it here okay that's fine now after add resolve the uh, imports so add imports and uh, after that this dot student service dot get all students dot subscribe and in the subscribe method we have two uh, existing method that is the success response as well as the error so first go for the success response and uh, you can see uh, in the success response you can bind the mat table data source that is the data source where your table will bind with the data okay so here we have success response so here we have a success repo and in the errors in the error response in the success response you can uh, you can add a mat table data source and bind with the success response so first of all add a student array with the type of student so student array type and you can initialize it with the empty array and after that you can this dot students dot sorry uh, equals to success response and after that you can bind with that uh, bind the data source with the mat table data source and the inside the mat table data source you can 
add this dot students so here we have this dot students but actually data source is a type of mat table data source so just add it here this uh, new mat table data source of the type student and add that student from here okay so everything is fine now in the error response you can just uh, add uh, the errors in the console so console.log error response So here we have also a mat paginator. So the resolve the solve the problem from the mat paginator. So uh, you can add a view child for the mat mat uh, mat paginator. So in the C, uh, ts file, so add view child mat paginator. Add the red view child mat paginator. Mat paginator is uh, it's not a mat paginator. So just add a mat paginator inside in your app module.ts file and also add this imports in the import section so here we have to resolve the add import name is uh, imports statements and also for the view child update import from angular core so here we go now similarly for the uh, shorting also doing this before shorting you have to add if mat paginator is there so you can uh, bind the data source with the mat paginator so after the student service dot get all the students in the subscribe method just after that you have to add uh, if map page editor if this dot map page editor equals to this dot data source dot page editor equals to this dot map page editor initialized it and also you can uh, just copy that code and paste inside your subscribe in the success response so here we have a success response and after the data source you can initialize your math page editor here we have this dot math page editor so this dot data source dot page editor equals to this dot math page editor so here we have code and also you can add the math short so at the rate view child dot math short Similarly for the mat short, shorting is enabled. So here we go. Mat short. And also for the filter student. So in uh, on initialized method, filter student, there is the separate method for on ng init. So here we have filter student and inside the filter student you can see you can add uh, some other things like uh, data source I want to filter with the filter text so data source dot filter equals to this dot filter text and filter text is a property that bind with the ng model so here you can add the filter text is empty but filter text is actually bind with the 
एन जी मोड एंड हेयर वी हैव ओके सो एवरीथिंग इज फाइन नाउ आफ्टर दैट यू कैन सेव दिस फाइल एंड डन योर टर्मिनल एंड स्टार्ट योर प्रोजेक्ट अगेन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट योर सर्विसेस दैट इज द डिपोजिटरी सर्विसेस एन जी सर्व wait for some times and uh, uh, resolve some issues generating browser application bundles okay so here we have some errors input uh, is a uh, not a keywords so just add a forms module inside your app model.ts file first of all import forms module and here we have a forms module now compile successfully and after that you can run your uh, code on your browser okay everything is fine now when we click on the student and uh, the default is the loaded the student list actually so first of all stop it and start it again so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and angular series and uh, guys uh, just don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, like this video if you like it and uh, also i request you please subscribe my channel and here we have uh, some error related to the http and uh, and also we have a student service so actually http uh, is a module uh, inside in your uh, in your app dot module section so just add this first of all and after you can use it So thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget subscribe my channel again.